Morning. So you may notice that we've got a big TV up in front. So it's that time of year again. We have the annual Catholic appeal. So the bishop has watched us, or has recorded a video for us, and has asked us to show this in all of the parishes. So instead of do doing the video and having to wheel that back and forth during the homily, we'll do the video first before mass, and then when we get to the homily, we'll just do walking through the pledge cards that you'll see at the edge of the pews. So, thank you. The story of our faith is told in the vibrant windows of our churches, by the statues that depict the heroes of Christ's church, and by the sacred art that brings to life the stories of scripture. I'm Bishop Donald Hying, and I'm blessed to serve as the fifth bishop of the Diocese of Madison. When I walk into a church, whether it's for the first time or the hundredth, I like to ponder the stories being told. I take in the beauty of our faith. Beauty inspires, it elevates our souls, it leads us to a deeper faith, and a more profound trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Here in the Diocese of Madison, we serve to ensure that every person is graciously invited every day to meet the person of Jesus Christ face to face and to be transformed by him. In an effort to most effectively invite the faithful to meet Jesus, we offer many apostolates, services, and programs for people of all ages each of them striving to inspire our more than 160,000 Catholics to a deeper faith and a more profound trust. The theme for this year's annual Catholic Appeal is Trust in the Lord with all your heart. By supporting the annual Catholic Appeal, you are growing all the goodness that takes place within our 11 county diocese, increasing those priceless opportunities so that we may better come to know, love, and serve God. Through your worship of God, sharing of the gospel, passing on the faith, and loving those around you, my hope is that you come to better trust in the Lord with all your heart. Last spring, I traveled to the town of Footville to celebrate our diocesan rural life mass at St. Augustine Parish. After mass, I blessed farm animals, seeds, equipment, and all the fields of our diocese, petitioning the Lord for a fruitful growing season and an abundant harvest. Reconnecting with my rural roots is a great gift for me. And I'm always overjoyed to see the faithful that work so hard to ensure that we have food on our tables. The majority of our beautiful diocese is rural, composed of farms and small towns, a stunning landscape, which sometimes obscures the difficulties of maintaining a successful farm today. Regardless, the humble, hardworking farmers of our diocese remain profusely faithful, trusting in the Lord with all their heart, their trust not unlike the ultimate trust of the apostles. Like us, the apostles were fallen men, infamously denying Christ, abandoning him, and at times lacking in trust. Rembrandt's masterpiece, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, depicts this lack of faith. The painting captures the moment that the apostles, full of fear, awaken our Lord. The sea was angry, and they're desperate for our Lord to calm the storm even as he slept through the raucous weather. Instantly, despite the apostles' lack of trust, Jesus stretched out his arms and told the winds and the rains, Peace, be still. After rebuking the storms, Jesus asked the apostles, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? We all go through storms in life. Perhaps some of us are going through a storm right now. At times, it can be challenging to trust in the Lord with all our heart. However, soon enough, Jesus will stand up, he'll stretch out his arms, and he'll say, Peace, be still. Despite their imperfections, the apostles continued to follow the Lord until their trust was nothing short of heroic. After the ascension of Christ, the apostles got to work, traveling to the far corners of the known world, spreading the good news. They trusted in the Lord with all their heart. They trusted our Lord even unto death. I encourage you to learn the stories of the apostles, ask for their intercession. They know better than most what it's like to go through a storm. They also know better than most what it's like to roll up their sleeves and get to work, sacrificing much for the kingdom. 
Last year, we launched our strategic planning process into the deep, seeking to realign our leaders, institutions, and structures with the needs of today so that we can wholeheartedly dedicate our resources to the mission of saving souls. The statistics are sobering. There have been big drops in baptisms, mass attendance, children in catechesis, and young people identifying as Catholic. We need to subvert these trends and ignite the fire of the Holy Spirit in everyone. In every town and city and throughout our diocese, we seek to radiate Christ, to glow in the glory of God, to spread the fire of the Holy Spirit. In this exciting moment of opportunity and possibility, there's lots of work ahead. We must be like the apostles. We must work to build the kingdom of heaven here on earth. We ask for your prayers, your support, and your financial backing so that we can truly set out into the deep, proclaim the gospel, and make disciples. Thank you for your great support of the Diocese of Madison. Your trust in us allows us to provide a multitude of programs, apostolates, and services to enrich your faith life, inspiring you to a deeper trust in our Lord. Please join me in supporting the Diocese of Madison's annual Catholic Appeal. Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, be holy for I, the Lord, your God am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. from the west so far as he put our transgressions from us as a father has compassion on his children so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him the Lord is kind and merciful A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future. All belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
keeps the word of Christ. The love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, Turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, And over your cloak as well, Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love only those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. morning. So today we are conducting the annual Catholic appeal that asks all parishioners to make a financial commitment to the Diocese of Madison. And so on behalf of Father Paul, our pastor, I'd like to thank all of you who have given to this appeal in the past years or have responded already to a recent mailing from the diocese. And I can assure you that the funds that you gave are deeply appreciated by all the people served by the different diocesan ministries. Each of us is called to share his or her gifts in support of the church. We must first support our parish and then our diocese and the church throughout the world. The annual Catholic appeal of the Diocese of Madison is a very effective way to support the services and ministries that the diocese provides to our parish. And so I ask that one member of each household to take a pledge envelope and a pencil. Those can be found on the edges of the pews there. I ask you to take those now. And please take an in-pew envelope even if you have already given in the mail. And you can indicate that you have already given on the envelope there as well. And while we wait, please examine the monthly pledge payment amounts that are listed on the right side of the pledge envelope. I ask that each of you consider making or pledging rather than making a one-time gift. And if each of us makes a pledge, together we can provide additional financial support for the important work of our diocese. And please consider giving a monthly pledge that will allow you to provide a larger gift. Prior to sealing the envelope, please do not seal the pencil in the envelope. Keep it separate. This is the one where you don't put the pencils in the envelope. They're not legal tender. The diocese can't use the pencils. We don't get a rebate for sending them in, so keep them separate. And we'll collect the pencil and reuse it here. And so now I'll lead you through the commitment process in order to limit the time that it takes. So now please open the flap and find the pledge form and the pencil. And I'll give you a few moments to complete section one. It's the contact information, so you can fill out your name, you can fill out your address, and then phone and email. So please indicate the name of our parish and city so that we will receive credit for the gift. And if you are a visitor and a member of a parish that is not this one, you can put your parish there to make sure that your parish is credited with the gift still. And if you are a member of a parish outside of our diocese, please indicate this parish so we can, so we can also credit your parish for its gift as well. And if you've already made a pledge this year by mail, At the bottom of this section, you can check the box that indicates, I have already made an ACA pledge. 
Please do not indicate any additional financial information on the form. We do not want to double count your pledge. And so it is still important for you to complete the name and parish information sections. And then I ask everyone else to look to section two, one-time gift or six monthly payments, and check the amount that you wish to give. Your pledge will be billed over six months if necessary. Also, there is no need to provide a down payment today unless you, you want to do so. You, you can, but it's not necessary. In the event that you wish to contribute an amount other than the ones indicated, please check the other box and indicate the full amount of your pledge on the blank line to its right. You can also join the Perpetual Steward Society by giving a recurring credit card gift or EFT gift with no end date. And in the event that you are making a down payment or paying your gift in full, please write the amount on the amount enclosed line. And then we'll give you another moment so that you can complete section three. It's the payment information. And if you are paying by credit card or by direct debit from your bank account, then you can fill in your credit card or EFT information. You can also use this section if you would like to join the Perpetual Steward Society, which allows you to give a recurring credit card or EFT gift with no end date. And so once we complete all of that, please seal the envelope and be sure to keep the pencil separate once again. And then I'll ask the ushers to come forward and to collect your pledge envelopes and pencils. So thank you for your contribution to the annual Catholic appeal and may God bless you for that. And then just to give hopefully a brief thought on the readings when St. Paul talks about the foolishness of the worldly, of the wise of the world. Well, how does that make sense? Well, imagine if I were to take a microscope and look through it and figured that I saw the entirety of the universe. Well, would I be wise or would I be a fool? their ushers will be coming forward with the baskets. You can pass them into the baskets uh, to collect the forms when completed.
And please rise while we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, unconsubstantial with the Father, and through him all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, the King God of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead the kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, the Lord and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Trusting the goodness and mercy of God, our Heavenly Father, we bring before him our prayers and our petitions. For all members of the Church, may we continue to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may seek to be enlightened by the wisdom of God and govern to enhance the lives of those most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we all join in prayer to support this year's annual Catholic appeal and all the ministries it funds in the Diocese of Madison as we continue to answer God's call to trust in him with all of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that we will be open our doors and our hearts to all and welcome each brother and sister with hospitality. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering illness, may they find strength in Jesus and receive the grace to persevere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Nativity of Mary Parish, may we, through continued prayer, experience growth in our parish membership and in our school enrollment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful Father, we ask you to hear all our prayers and petitions and to grant them in accord with your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Praise the Lord, as for our of all the souls. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise that they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being. And paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory you venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things you may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray. Graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Lord, our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, able to just. The sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, with those sinners, open your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist. Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the stay. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
live for us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into this world.
slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. All my being, bless the Lord, bless the holy name of God. All my being, bless the Lord, remembering the goodness of God. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord, slow to Rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. God forgives us all our sins, healing those who live in pain, saving us from final death. God fills us with goodness and love. in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. Good and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger, rich in love. God remembers not our sins, forgiving and loving is God. in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. As the heavens soar above, above the great well of us, as far as east is from the west, the Lord takes our sins from us. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you.
Let us pray. And we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So just as a brief announcement, this upcoming Wednesday will be Ash Wednesday. We'll be having Masses here at 8.15 in the morning with the school kids, so it'll be a school Mass but all are invited to join there, or we also will have Mass uh, here at 6.15 in the evening. And the schedule will be the same over at St. John Vianney, 8.15 in the morning and 6.15 in the evening. And then for Lent, we'll also be doing the Stations of the Cross. We'll have that available here Friday at 5 p.m. And then at St. John Vianney at 5.30. Father Paul made the comment that we're doing that uh, because he knows that the people who would prefer to do it during the day will still probably do it anyway, but just to kind of be a little more inclusive for those who have working schedules still that it may be a time that they are able to come as well. Uh, so all are invited to join Stations of the Cross on Fridays as well. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Masses and the Thanks be to God. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us fill the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. sons of the morning, we are daughters of day, the one who has loved us has brightened our way, the Lord of all kindness has called us to be a light for his let us be 